What's going on, everyone? We're going to do a little intraday kind of technical analysis. Look, um, we're going to be going over some of the stocks that I like to trade. Uh, again, if you guys have any stocks in mind that you want me to kind of go over, give some supply and demand levels for, uh, make sure to leave a comment. So we're looking at Tesla currently in a long position now. I did take 10 contracts of Tesla at the 155.50 mark, currently being traded at 158 already have sold out 80 percent of my position i did take 10 contracts on this overall trade i kind of posted that trade early in the morning uh 6 45 6 46 a.m i said in the discord community tesla 155 50 the long scalpers only if it wants to wake up in dead cat that's exactly what it did obviously we know tesla has been beaten down for quite some time now um, it was due for a little bit of a dead cat, even though we do have the gap to be filled at 147, it could definitely see more room to the downside, but just kind of looking at overall today's price action again with the good meta earnings again with the NASDAQ futures up currently up 250 handles on the day's session, you know, a little bit of a relief is okay, even though, it, you know, the stock chart looks like it can go down again. That's why I said, you know, scalpers only. This is not a trade where I'm saying, hey, get in on Tesla now because I think that it's going back up to 200. No, you know, we want to get in on Tesla. We want to get in on the dead cat bounce, ride the momentum up, you know, on the intraday kind of uh, perspective. And we want to take a dollar here, two dollars there, kind of lock in those profits. So right now, currently just sitting in two contracts left of Tesla, kind of just letting it run. Um, we do have room into 158.89. That's the next area of supply. I'm looking at the one hour time frame. That's the 50 day moving average. Now we do have the top of the channel here sitting at 160 so between 158 150 or 159 160 expect a lot of choppiness expect a little bit of a pullback in fact you know tesla could pull back now at 158 kind of just consolidate sideways before next leg uh, up into the upper channel over 160 anything over 160 is going to have room to 163 we're still looking at that bottom threshold at 150 at 151.71 for the downside pivot to kind of get filled into that 147 area. Again, if we just kind of take a look at Meta, look at what Meta did after the bell here absolutely exploded. Uh, touched the high price after hours on earnings at 236.37, currently trading at 239 with a high point of 242.27. So kind of just uh, flagging to the top side here holding every level of our support, holding this five. So we are trending higher here. I really wouldn't be too concerned until uh, Meta breaks 225 to risk any more potential downside. Again, right now, I don't know if I would be chasing the breakouts on this. I would like to see a pullback into 235 or 229. Those would be two great areas to try to bounce Meta into strength. If we take a look at Microsoft, another stock that had phenomenal earnings and kind of exploded, we can see did the same kind of price action or is doing the same kind of price action as Meta. So kind of keep that in mind for Meta going into tomorrow. Remember, again, we had a nice explosion, a lot of consolidation, and then a new high up. High price today was 303.75, currently up $7.64. Looking at the triple Qs, which is a NASDAQ 100, absolutely just surging, as I've mentioned before. 250 points higher on the NASDAQ futures, up $6 on the day, 2%, a fantastic day, 318. So there was a little bit of a pivot here right off the open. If we kind of look at the opening range uh, and the 200 day moving average sitting at around that 316 area, over 316 has a lot of rooms to stretch. We're currently in the middle of the new channel here on the leg higher. Again, what you would be looking for here, let the dust settle, let the first 30 minutes of the market kind of play out, take that first hour candles low and high and kind of see, do we have any potential room? Now, obviously it would not be a short for me just due to the fact that we have stacked SMAs and EMAs acting as strong levels of demand. Really do not look to want to short the queues until we kind of lose this whole bottom channel below 311. But again, you can see here where we came up to this yellow line is a 200 SMA on the one hour time frame. As soon as we got confirmation at the seven o'clock hour Pacific Standard Time here, absolutely exploded. So you could have taken this trade from 316 all the way up to a high price of 317.67, which is about a dollar fifty move. Not bad for an index. We take a look at Apple. Apps. Apple, if I go to the daily chart, looked like absolute death yesterday. We kind of see this inverse hammer candle here any confirmation through 162.75 had room down all the way to 160 but again got a nice little gap up here now has reclaimed its short-term moving averages such as a 5 10 and 20 day moving averages here so just looking at the one hour time frame 
little slight pullback here off the top but 166.56 does have room overall to 167 168 so kind of keep that in mind again power trending very very hard off of the upper bollinger band so that's one thing that you're going to kind of need to keep in mind if we do pull back and you are looking to bounce apple i would say 150 or excuse me 165.50s or even 165.20s those would be two fantastic spots to bounce apple into strength um we could look at nvidia nvidia overall was weak very 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 aggressive pullback off the open now if we look at nvidia here nvidia if it starts to lose this opening range low and lose the low of day below 266.25 does have room to 265.53 anything below that 265 mark has room all the way down to 261 so maybe if you're looking for a short here maybe if nvidia is kind of the indication that hey you know what as soon as we start to get through some of these bigger tech earnings here that we could see a potential pullback again semiconductors have been one of the strongest sectors since 2023 has started so if it's any indication that maybe there might be a slight pullback while well, everything else is green you have one of the strongest sectors on a pullback today could just be some news could just be a headline it could just be a little bit of uh exhaustion and rest nvidia was up seven eight points yesterday so again even though we have pulled back we have not really lost yesterday's low if you kind of look here i got this 267 mark set up here came down tested it two times today in two different hour candles uh but again if we do start to crack down below again that 267 you do have about a dollar dollar 50 move again scalpers only uh market is strong you could get sh shaken out of that position We'll look at Amazon. Amazon is up $4 on the day session. It's up 4%. Again, slight pullback here. We did have a high of 109.66. So could be coming back, right? If you're looking to kind of bounce Amazon 108, 107.80s, those would be the two marks I would look at. Your absolute last bounce spot for a remount, meaning you want to bounce this into strength, right? We want to stay with the trend. Again, 108.30s, 107.80s, and we are looking for the 106, uh, excuse me, we're looking for the 106.76 area so anywhere in those areas could be a potential good bounce opportunity on a stock like amazon again four percent on a, on a hundred dollar stock is absolutely amazing so again just wanted to kind of cover uh some of those few um tickers that i like to trade looking at the nasdaq futures here completely surging we have room all the way up to 13256 definitely keep that in mind if we look at the daily chart here on the nasdaq futures we've been pulling back essentially since Four, four, right so almost about three weeks now we've been just kind of consolidating holding this upper channel holding this upper channel holding this upper channel it was here on the 25th where we really started to get a little shaky and broke down below this channel but bulls quickly bought this up off the 50 ema and now we consolidated for one two days and now we are surging back up over the 5 10 and 20 day moving average if the nasdaq futures can kind of close here this could be a flag setup kind of breaking out to the top side with room to around 13 3 2 8 that would be the next mark here anything testing that area could put in a new high for the year of 2023 on tech names again if you guys like this video you want more intraday commentary you want to learn how to trade supply and demand you want to know my overall strategies and you want to get with the program and learn the right mindset to be confident trader to be a confident a more confident trader and to be better off in the market so you can be more consistent make sure to join evolutiontraders.com get access to the community get access to the study guides the workshops the one-on-one -on -one mentorship i'll see you guys all on the inside and until tomorrow or whenever I put out the next video that you guys do watch, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to know how you guys are doing today. I would love to know what tickers that you guys traded today, so that way we can better all make some money together. I'll see you guys on the next one.